hard work tasting these beverages for you. It's hard damn difficult. We, we sweat. From the sweat of my we brow. toil under the lights. That's right. Cool. It's need a cold beverage to cool us down. <laughs> Thankfully, we do have one of those. We do. <laughs> sweat under these hot lights. That's right. The hot lights, the bright lights, big city. It's Michael J. Fox. That's right. It was a hit movie of his, right? Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. I don't. I don't remember what exactly happened. I don't either. He, he went. <laughs> Not one of those that was more memorable. Let's let's make up something. Uh, yeah. Alex P. Keaton goes to New York. I yeah. Don't know. Uh, that's yeah. that was the that was the pitch. It was the sequel to Family Ties. <laughs> that's right. That was. The they just made a movie. Young Republican and cocaine abuse. What do you think? Done. Okay. Who do we cast? That's right. Michael J. Fox, of course. Have you? I've seen it. I've never. I don't think I've ever watched a whole episode of Spin City. Oh, okay. Have you ever watched? Spin yeah, City? I have a little bit. But did you ever know? Uh, uh, Michael Gross was on Spin City. No, I didn't. He was. I saw him the other day on a Spin City because before the time changed and um, on reels, it spin, it spin City used to be on from eleven to twelve. Oh, okay. Wings is on from eleven to twelve. But anyway, as I was getting ready for work, I'd, I'd catch a few minutes, and yeah, Michael Gross was uh, oh. his therapist. Was oh, that's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, okay, that's was, clever. Uh, uh, his therapist. So it was kind of funny so, to see the two. What of them little on the stage I saw again. of it, I always thought it was it was fine. It's like the I same guy who did Scrubs, so it can't be all bad. Yeah. Like that, and you see some cross, uh, car- uh, not, some cross actor contamination there. The oh, really? Richard Kind is in, oh, is in yeah, that. Right. I mean, he was also he had a recurring role for a little bit in Scrubs as the hypochondriac who just wanted to te- be tested on everything. Did you have you watched Scrubs? A little Scrubs? bit, okay. never really that There's much either. Like guy. it was kind of funny, like the first couple of years, and then it was like I love Scrubs it up kind of through like the le- until it like switched to ABC. Pretty yeah, much all the years it was something on like ABC, it was saved, really and then it. all of a sudden it was like main character. Some of the main characters weren't there. Yeah, anymore, and then and was, some of them would go, and then some would come back. Yeah, no, when it was still yeah, the, pretty much the whole run on NBC, I thought it was pretty much well because then the excellent the woman that was on Scrubs and she was on How I Met Your Mother, right, and, and then that whole thing, yeah. and yeah, and at the same time you, they didn't know where the Scrubs was going to come back. Yeah. And so they didn't have her as a recurring character. Right. Yeah, so it was kind of weird. That I was kind of glad she didn't stick but, around, though. But she bugged genius. me a little bit. Stella? Yeah, a little uh, bit. Yeah, I would have to agree. Bit. Maybe uh, that character on that show. Like, she was fine on Scrubs. Like, maybe that character oh, was yeah. a little bit. Oh, no, yeah. She's Scrubs. a little of this. Yeah, no. She's I'm, a little of the shoulder. Yeah. Now, the, 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 uh, the character on How I Met Your Mother was... Um, yeah, it's good it didn't go any farther. Yeah. Unless they would have changed her up a little bit. Because, yeah, she was... Yeah, I would agree. But overall, I like Sarah Chalk. Chalk. I'm a Sarah Chalk. Chalk, chalk talk. So I like her as an actress. She's good. She's good in Scrubs. Do you like this beer as a beverage? I don't know. Have you had it? I have. Oh. I've, I've so, had it. So more more sadness on this. Give it a shot. Uh-huh. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are aboutbeverages.com where we have full disclosure on everything that we do here. Yes, I have had this beer. So before we get too much into it, what is this beer? This is the uh, Mission Street uh, 2012 Anniversary Ale. Um, Mission Street, which is also um, Firestone Walker, does uh, a few beers for Trader Joe's. They do a, the Mission Street IPA. They do a pale ale. They do a blonde. And That Mission Street IPA. It's a tasty good value. Good right value there. for six dollars for six a, bucks for a tasty little for an IPA. Yeah, yeah no, it is it's a good. It's not going to blow your socks off, but it's good. No, it's it's a good one to have in the fridge, and yeah, for six bucks, it, it is a good value. Um, but for the, at least the last couple of years now, they've done an anniversary ale, and this is the 2012 version, which uh, is a little different from last year's version. So okay. Um, so yeah, initially, you is. had like a little sip of this. Uh, was it a tasting or something yes, like that at, at, the, at the store? Uh-huh. And initially, you were a little frightened because this is barley wine-ish? It's like 40% barley wine, 40% stout, and I think 20% porter. So that um, should be plenty of I think I sent you the to make you happy. But initially not, but then you still bought a bottle anyway. I did buy a bottle because I had bought a bottle for you, and then you wanted taking it over to I Joe's. Did. did Joe ever try it? No, I don't know. I could have to ask him. could still be there. We don't it know. Could be. <laughs> it could be. At the so next you hadn't together. tried it. I hadn't tried it. We didn't know if Joe had tried it. So uh, I did buy another bottle, and I had a bottle since then. Okay, so, so you've had you've had a bottle. Okay. Yes. That's as far as we'll go with That's that. That's as far so as we'll now go. We've got, we've got this one. Uh, so what are the uh, the uh, main information here? we got 8.5% alcohol, and uh, how much does this uh, go for at uh, Trader Joe's? Two ninety nine for Two the 22-ounce bomber. Okay. And can this still be found? We have... Yes. Okay. I don't think it's available for us to order anymore, but we've got at least 20 or 25 cases at work right now still. And okay. there's 12 bottles to a case. So, yeah, there's there's plenty. And even by the time this podcast goes up, there should still be plenty. Okay. So, uh, we did, we ordered a lot of it. 
It's always interesting. Not you to know? say whether I think it's good or bad yet, but the reason we have a lot of it is because um, uh, Eric actually wanted to have plenty of it on hand before oh, okay. it went out of stock. So we were ordering tens and fifteens, and we were ordering we were ordering quite a bit. We sold a lot of it, but we had a lot too. So we still got a lot left. Now I kind of remember their one from last year. I swear that I don't know. Did we podcast on it or not? I don't. I'd have to look. Think in the we did. I know. I. I know. Did we you try it or did I just tell you about it? I'm pretty sure we tried it because this graphic looks familiar. Okay. Because like I, I had a couple seen... of them, and I, I. It was funny. I had the first one, and I was like, I don't know if I like that or not. <laughs> so for three dollars, I thought oh, I'm going to have another one, and uh, and I still kind of felt that way even after that. It was, I, I was, it was like. I, I, you know, I didn't dislike it, but I didn't necessarily say, yeah, you got to buy that. So well, It's so funny, too, because like, and it's a mental thing where you get, there are certain price points where you're just like, a beer can't be good for two ninety nine. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and that's and that's wrong, and that's kind of yeah. sad, but it's, it's absolutely. It, it should be, I should just try that and right. at least find out an experience if it's bad or not. Right. But there's like a mental thing where you're like. Well, that's where blind thing. tasting is so effective. Yeah. Because you, you, you knock out all of those other variables. Right. Price doesn't matter. Um, you don't the, the who it, who makes it doesn't it doesn't matter. There aren't any of those things involved. So it's just the beverage as it is standing on its own. So. Well, and that's what was great about when we would always taste coffee at Arbuckle. It was that thing yep. we we never wanted to know the price of the green. Yep. We would know the varietal, right? Because we would kind of have that in mind, but didn't want to know you know and, and those types of things. But we kept that out of it because we you know if it's good it's good that's what we want right whatever the price is that's what we want to go for right. if it's bad it doesn't matter if it's cheap or not we don't want it because that's right. not the quality we're looking that's for what you're looking for yeah, yeah. and that's kind of what we do when we do our ratings here we take price into um into consideration to some extent i a mean little bit. It, it's not yeah uh, yeah it, it, I, mean, I try and limit it a little we, bit we do, you do and we i have that argument yeah do we like it yes okay now do we like it enough to pay what what they're asking right. for it? And then yeah, that's sort of that's yeah discussion well, that was, we have. Well, that was like how the whole Odell IPA mercenary right. Right, kind of discussion came up. Like, is it right. worth paying the same amount to get two less beers? Right. You know, and that and that type of thing. But yeah, no, it's it's definitely a, a, you know it's a good discussion. It's always a value proposition of what you know what you want to pay for. But proving that dollars mean nothing. The Bear Republic, their Bear Republic Stout, three seventy nine for twenty two ounce bomber, yeah. and that is. A wonderful stout yeah and, and it's just tasty. it's just once again not using high expensive ingredients and then they have a you know pretty simple you know grains they're not using crazy specialty malts and stuff like that but they make a great blend that's just balanced and good and it's like it's knowing how to put those yeah items together exactly i am actually a, a fan to some extent of the barley wines i don't overly seek them out yeah. but i don't i'm not as kind of they're not a red Initi flag to you. Yeah, like I'm not as initially turned yeah. off as you are. But yeah. I mean, I appreciate, though, that you do try, uh, kind of like the pumpkin beers, you try all the ones I put in front Keep of you. Keep going back. That's right. Well, you know, like Eric says, got to try everything twice. I know. He hasn't copyrighted that yet, has he? Because we, <laughs> we could might want to take we're, that. We, we've already taken it. <laughs> we've already we're already using it. it. We've got bumper stickers out right now. They're available at aboutbeverages.com. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that looks like a... Um, Kind of reminds me of like a Newcastle nut brown kind of color. Nut brown? Something like that. Nut brown. Ice tea or something? Yeah. Tea. Uh, oh, actually, you know, a little a bit of cola. little uh, chai cola kind of looking? Yeah. Taylor's tonics. You mean? Little Taylor's tonics, yeah. chai cola. Yeah. Very, uh, like, almost no carbonation. No. It's, I mean, there's yeah, bubbles, but no head, I should yeah, say. There's very, no head retention. Mild. There's no foam. There's nothing like that. That's just... Uh, yeah, I don't even see... There is some there's some light carbonation yeah, yeah, going on, but, it's, but very yeah, little. Since it's not so see through, you have to hold it up. So, hmm. after a swirl, it sort of livens that aroma up a little bit. Yeah, I would say so. Get that sweet malt. Yeah, I'm getting sweet malt. I'm getting a little roasty at the back. Little little herbal kind of thing going on there. A little bit of that. Yeah, uh, I agree. A little bit of that barley wine kind of aroma. But like I said, mostly for me, just kind of sweet and a little roasty. I agree. Dang. Crying game song in my head now. <laughs> The Crying Hunger Games. A 
That's really good. <laughs> I actually like so that. I sent you the notes or the. I don't know if you still have that that text. Oh, I, I don't sent think you I, the, No, I don't think I do. The the notes on what this is, but yeah, I think I think it's forty forty twenty. Yeah. And it's barley wine, a stout, right. and a porter. So it's either. I'm pretty sure the barley is forty, and the other. I'm, I'm getting. There's a lot more complexity in the taste than there is in the aroma. The aroma yeah. is a little on the bland side. Yeah. You know, we we kind of maybe we're reaching a little bit, but like the, the aroma is a little bit just kind of like oh okay. Yeah. But the the flavor is is really nice. Like I'm getting more of the actual sweetness as opposed to the bready part mm-hmm. from the malt, and I don't know if that's taken over by some of the stout and the porter kind of coming through. But then there is that kind of nice little. Barley wine finish, that heavier kind of something. I, I like that, blend. but it's That's not over the. Oh, it's not the overly sweet vegetal finish. No, for no, me, it's which, not, which no, it's is not why I didn't dismiss buying another bottle of this for myself, or even bringing it over to try it again. I, there's, the body is nice. I think the body's kind of yeah, smooth. it is. Yeah, the and, body has uh, a little f- like olive oil kind of viscosity or yeah. something to it. There's a little coating, yeah. which is nice. Excuse me, uh, it's not. It's a very slightest bit dry, but not much at all. Yeah, uh, it's just yeah. That's just really nice. It's a really nice finish. That's I, I think that's actually quite a value for two ninety nine. So, for, that's so, uh, so I was gonna say yeah. yeah if you like that, then for two ninety nine, that is a that's a good price. I think that is a really good value yeah. actually for yeah. two ninety nine. I wonder how what the alcohol eight and a half. Yeah, I don't know how well this would age. Necessarily, I think it th- might actually. It might. It might do okay. It's yeah. not. It's not as high in alcohol as sometimes those things age a little bit better. But it's it's getting up there where maybe it might. You yeah. know, last six months or so, if you yeah. wanted to grab a couple no, bottles. No, I, I think or it. I think it would definitely, because I would probably enjoy this a little bit more heading into some colder weather again. Even mm-hmm. not that it's like a specifically a hot or a, a. It's not specifically a cold weather beer, but I think I would enjoy it a little bit more heading into that. Yeah, um, but I I, and I, th- I think it would make it. I think it would age till then. I I can't like I'll get that. I can dig that information sheet out again and see if they recommend it for that. But uh, no, I I think yeah, it's good. I don't I don't know if it's necessarily one I will. No, yeah, maybe I, you know what I might buy one just to to el- to cellar it. To that would be it, interesting. To age it, it for yeah. six months or especially eight for three bucks. What, yeah, with what we, with what we pay for beers. And beverages in general, <laughs> that's, that's pretty good value. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, I, yeah. I like that. That's yeah. actually that's very nice surprise. That's I think that's pretty tasty, and it's not. Oh, an imp- oh, an imperial brown. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, is that we what, affect- is that what oh, that, that's it? what they're yeah. affectionately calling it. Yeah. Imperial brown ale. Well, they're kind yeah. of going a little. They're going a little loose with that terminology. Yeah. Say, just, just call it a blend. Yeah. But. Yeah, but and like I said, plenty available. <laughs> Store on Oracle and McGee has. Oh. A lot of this. Oracle and McGee, we've got some <laughs> hanging around. We've got it. So you come on it. down. And uh, what we've got uh, at aboutbeverages.com are tasting notes for this beer, along with where it hits on our recommendation scale. And uh, while you're there, definitely uh, become a fan of us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you can uh, always be updated about all these uh, videos and things that we've got coming down the pipe. We're pretty much all video now. We are. We're yeah. at least filming we've, them all. Yeah, we're filming them all. We've got the the audio podcast still goes up on iTunes, which is uh, is great. We've still got a lot of listeners there, and that will never go away. So whatever. Uh, the great thing about the want. audio is, if you don't want to watch us, don't. You but don't still to. listen to us. You can still listen yeah. to us. That's it's right. It's the same thing. Same feed. But yeah, just you, know, you can just imagine don't watch. then that we're somebody else. Yeah. Like that maybe like I look more like George Clooney or something like that. <laughs> Could or, you do or that Jay right Cutler. now with the green screen? <laughs> oh God. Put different faces put in different for faces us right on. now. No, that would look kind of weird. That would look kind of scary. All these fun things that we could do now that we have the green screen. We could. We could. Our, imagine, our imaginations are, we're, we're, we're allowing them to run wild again in, the, in a new direction here. <laughs> so I'm glad you said direction. Yes. But whether we like it or not. You should give it a shot.